Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel with you. We are feeding live via the web right now. I want to say hello and welcome to everyone out there. Uh, interesting topic I want to discuss today. A lot of emails coming in talking about some nutritional information, but this is one particular thing that's a lot of conversing about. People are really not really not certain about this particular superfood in comparing it to spirulina and other uh, allergies. Uh, but one of my favorite, chlorella. This chlorella is so amazing when it comes to a superfood that I'm going to focus this particular topic all about harmful radiation. A radiation that most of my listeners, as well as our chatters coming in right now, have been x-rayed. Uh, <clears throat> women get mammographies, uh, CAT scans for people who have sinus issues, lung issues, organ issues, lots of radiation over your lifetime. And here is one magic superfood that's better than anything on the planet when it comes down to helping you rate with radiation. But <clears throat> let's get into it a little bit uh, first about this particular cell. This is an amazing, an amazing uh, superfood. And you can just see the greenness when we think about radiation, which is what we're going to talk about, supports the removal of heavy metals that uh, we're in, that we're infested with. It actually uh, prevents the release of histamine, uh, which is the inflammation and the swelling. Uh, there is so many great things, actually, when it comes to diabetics. Here is something you may want to look into as well. Uh, but... Uh, this is a fascinator. This We look at this beautiful chlorophyll picture here, and obviously the most common ways that we'll get chlorophyll uh, is powdered form. Uh, obviously, the cell walls must be broken, which you'll see on the bottles, or you'll say cell walls broken because that's the way it assimilates in our body because those cells walls, cell walls must be broken in uh, uh, chlorophyll. Uh, so obviously, you look at pills, tablets, and uh powder, which I'll go into at the end. So uh, many of you are very familiar with this, but uh, I really want to go into some information right here about uh, a little education for you. And I think this is good information. Uh, let's uh, touch on a little bit about radiation because uh, here is something that we cannot get away from. Uh, we get radiation from microwaves, from televisions, to lights, to uh, being in our backyard with the wires close to us. There's radiation, there's ionian radiation, obviously the gamma rays, the x-rays. Uh, and <clears throat> these rays are, can be very harmful <clears throat> when it accumulates in our cells because it can damage the cells. It affects the DNA. Uh, as we move up here, uh, this looks uh, talks about radioactivity, talks a little bit about the unstable nucleus, and that unstable nucleus from radioactive rays uh, can cause changes within the DNA, within the cells of mitochondria. And um, when we look at here, uh, we're looking at, uh, let's give me a second here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we're looking at the different forms of x-rays. As you can see, uh, the different spectrum, the different wavelengths, you can see the closer wavelengths are obviously the more dangerous ones. Uh, we go long radi radio waves and works our, our weight from right to left. You can see uh, how those rays become more dangerous as they get closer together. Uh, that's the spectrum. Now, obviously, we're concerned, uh, a lot of my uh, uh, patients, as well as uh, uh, my listeners and, and people who are my subscribers, we're accustomed to a lot of x-rays, a lot of CAT scans, a lot of diagnostic scans because people out there have pain, herniated discs, ruptured discs, and uh, even surgeries, even uh, uh, having types of scans where they're, where they're using consistent x-ray maybe in certain procedures. Uh, so here we're looking at the radiation damage to DNA, as we talked about. Uh, this DNA obviously is a uh, an important thing because obviously this is the life of who we are. We, we start messing with DNA, we're in some serious problems. Uh, just to let you know about chlorophyll, uh, we're looking at something that's astonishing with vitamins and minerals, uh, but this single-celled allergy 
as we talk about this DNA damage, this prevents and repairs DNA damage. This helps balance out the, the, the body's pH. And when it comes to doing that, we talked about fighting inflammation uh, and improving digestive and immune function. So we're looking at immunity right here, that we know that x-rays and gamma rays and radiation, and even our radiation that we can't get away from, is affecting us. And that causes cancer, causes neurogenic diseases, Alzheimer's, uh, as well as you know, muscular uh, multiple sclerosis and, and, and diseases within the nervous system. So we have to understand that that's so important. Now, here we look at the radioactivity just of the radioactive a, uh, atom. I just want to bring that out again. Uh, now, I want to mention something about just about our bone marrow. Now, these studies here, I want to just run a few quick studies because as far as harmful radiation, chlorella to me and from research I've read is the most powerful weapon when it comes down to both preventing this radioactive damage and help healing it once it occurred. A 1989 study put forth Czechoslovakia Academy of Sciences demonstrated that chlorella effectively increases production of bone marrow and spleen stem cells. And in tests, chlorella greatly helped improve survival rates among mice of this aerated, uh, ir irradiated with uh, lethal, lethal doses of this radioactive gamma rays. Uh, when we look at this here, this shows you the radiation effect that goes on within the entire body. Just a little something you can look back in. But in 1995, published by the Indian Journal of Experimental Biology, found that when administered um, before or upon exposure to sublethal radioactive gamma rays, chlorella help to boost levels of colony form spleen cells. Such cells exist within the bone marrow and are essential uh, in the uh, production of vital blood elements and immune factors. Uh, we have another study uh, when it comes down to gamma rays, uh, but these studies just go on. But 1993 uh, researchers uh, from Jawaharlal Nehru University in India found that chlorella is effective in protecting against uh, damage caused by acute and chronic radioactive damage. So there are so many different studies out here uh, when it comes down to it, uh, radiation. And radiation, believe it or not, we talk about radiation, what goes on in Japan with the radiation over there. We talk about, uh, uh, let me move over here because I'm going to jump too quick. I'm going to go on that in just a second, but the, understand that we, we're looking at even heavy metals. It's known to uh, take away heavy, metal, heavy metals. You know, we look at what we eat in the pollutants of coal mines that uh, goes in the soil, goes in the water, and these heavy metals that we're eating uh, from fish uh, is causing a lot of neurogenic diseases. A little bit about the nutritional information about chlorella, very, very powerful uh, it, it's a, it's like a full protein. I mean, it's, it's pretty fascinating. This is hundred grams. This is the powder. Uh, I want to move on to this last picture here, just showing you the health benefits, some brief health benefits, uh, glutathione levels, boost tissue growth and repair, improves symptoms of breast cancer, reduces carcinogenic activity. It helps cancer. Uh, green, green, green. So if you stay green, you stay healthy for a long time. Uh, it actually helps the breath, helps get rid of toxins, uh, helps the, the, the intestines when it comes down to auto-toxification, detoxifies the blood. You can see here how to take this. Uh, average for an adult is about three grams, three to four grams. And you can actually look at this at, your, on your, at yourself uh, on your own time. Uh, but this is a great thing I wanted to share with you when it comes down to people out there who had harmful radiation, including myself, this is something you want to be on, something you want to share, something that's safe, something that will get rid of acidity, get rid of probably a lot of your acid reflux. It will help make the blood nice and alkaline. Uh, this is probably one of the purest, cleanest, no side effects. Uh, this is very powerful stuff. And you know what? They compare the chlorella to like wheatgrass, wheatgrass. This puts wheatgrass to shame. That's the potency of what chlorella can do. Now, most important, make sure you get a good quality chlorella. You can look on Amazon, do your homework. A lot of great chlorellas out there. And it's just something you have to have preference if you want to take in a capsule uh, versus just 
taking the tablets or just taking the powder. Some people like to take the powder, mix it up, put it away in the morning and you're done. Obviously, when you take the tablets, you have to take more of them. So I hope that this was positive. Uh, people out there who have been through a lot of radiation, if you are exposed to radiation, lots of CAT scans, lots of x-rays, lots of uh, uh, other types of radiation that you might have had in the past, or maybe that you're just live near power lines or, or, or exposed to your, even, you know, your cell phone all the time, it's still radiation. Here is something that you're, you can really preserve your health, hopefully to, to make you live a long life and prevent many diseases, many neurogenic diseases, and keep the DNA strong within the cells so you can stay healthy for a long, long life and live it with your family, your children, and be around a long time. This is what it's all about, and that's where nutrition comes in uh, to help preserve our bodies. That's what it's all about, helping to preserve our bodies. Uh, I ask you to uh, subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Put some thumbs up. Check me out on Facebook, Motivational Doc. Uh, check out my channel here. Great self-help videos. I try to do my best to try to help thousands of people. I get so many great, beautiful uh, emails and feedbacks and even letters to, coming to my office and coming through mail. Uh, it's. I just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you, Chatters. I, mean, I, I recognize a lot of your names. And uh, God bless you and your family. And uh, continue to stay proactive. And we'll be back with you real soon. Bye-bye now.